everyone. I hope that you are having a nice summer day today. I am going to be teaching you about brewing cold brew with the Yama Cold Brew Tower. So this is one of my personal favorite pieces of coffee equipment. The first thing you're gonna need is 100 grams of coffee. We're going to be using room temperature water, so you're taking out the variable of heat. And then also this is going to be a slower brewing method and so you are also changing the variable of time. So you are going to want a coarser grind size. So I'm gonna move this to 30 out of 40 on my Baratza Encore grinder. It comes with a filter, so you're gonna put that in first. Then you're gonna pour your coffee directly in. Once you have 100 grams of coffee, you are going to take a paper filter, so this is also an AeroPress filter, and just place it on top and kind of smooth it out. And then you are going to put that directly into your tower. And then the next step is we are going to get room temperature water, pour it into the top of our tower. So this was about four cups. And then you put the lid on. And then first you want to completely saturate your coffee grinds. So you do a thicker water until you can see it's starting to drip down. And then you are going to turn this down so that it's about one drop of water for every 1.5 seconds. And then it is going to go through the grinds, drip down here, and then go into our lovely container. So we will check back in a few hours. Just a tip, you're going to want a paper filter because water will always choose the path of least resistance and without it, water will just drip down the center and there will be uneven water distribution over the coffee grinds. And now I would like to introduce you to my coffee assistant. Okay, now we are about halfway through the brewing process. So you can see about more than half of our water is gone and then more than half of our container is full. So. Just a little bit longer and then we'll get to enjoy our cold brew. Right, Olaf? What do you think? How's it smelling? Can't wait to try it. Let's go. I don't add ice to the top water chamber because it creates condensation and the water temperature changes throughout the brewing process and you want to keep temperature consistent over time, especially since this brewing method lasts a few hours. Our water has dripped all the way through our apparatus and we now have our cold brew coffee. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Yama cold brew drip tower system today. Please let us know if you've tried this before or if you've tried out any other cold brew methods. One of the things that I really love about cold brew is you can use any type of coffee to make a great cup and one of the also fun little secrets about cold brew is that you can even use slightly older coffee and still have a really delicious cup. So I hope that you're enjoying some on these hot summer days. Cheers.